Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. I want to talk to you about giving up too soon because there's not a week that goes by that I don't hear about some new diet or some nutritional trend or, or even the next magic pill, powder, potion, or lotion. It's going to happen. It's continued to happen in my whole career. And we all get bombarded with this idea of the next latest, uh, greatest thing that's going to change our lives and turn our health around. But unfortunately, many people, what they do is they jump from program to program, from diet to diet, hoping to find that magic pill, that magic situation. And the problem is they never stay with something long enough to see if it can actually work for them. And so, and the unintended consequences of just jumping from case to case and study to study and program to program is when you're trying so many things that don't work, it can take a devastating toll on both your physical and your mental health. And what happens is you begin to lose trust in the process. And trust is hard to gain, but it's easy to lose. But it's also the foundation of all relationships, including the most important one, which is with yourself. And when you become discouraged like that and you become demoralized, uh, regardless of where you fell short, you are still left to pick up the pieces of your life. And you're the one that has to answer the questions about why you failed. And it's an internal conversation that you have to deal with and then becomes uh, all the uncertainty. And now you're trying to move forward in a new direction. And most of the time people fall back into the old habits and the old routines that got them to the point uh, where they they got unhealthy and, they, and where they're at when they started. And this is very discouraging. It can be very challenging because what happens is your vision becomes clouded again. And most people I found out after coaching all these years are so wounded and so fatigued from the past failures that there is a great level of uncertainty about the true vision and direction of their life. And so you begin to question whether you should continue. You begin to, con to question what, what, what direction should you go in next? And, or you go back to what you were doing before your last failure. And by the way, failure is not a death sentence. Uh, and the question I always ask people is, is, does failure make something inside of you rise up and give you a new vision? Or does it keep you parked in the middle of the street? And most people ask, how do you start over again? How do you begin to move on from your past failures? And what happens is you feel like you wasted your time. You feel like you wasted your money because this is the most practical consequence that people can point to. Uh, money for health and that you've invested in your health becomes money for your failures. And although we can get money back, none of us can get time back. So let me encourage you with these thoughts today as you think about your own situation and as you think about maybe you have failed in the past and maybe you have given up too soon and quit on yourself. You see, the scripture says that, that David was anointed to be king as a teenager. But when God gave him that promise, David didn't go straight to the palace. No, he went right back to the sheep, right back to the fields. And I've heard it said that he was anointed, but he wasn't appointed yet. And he had to pay his dues and show that he was willing to put in the work uh, to become the king. So did you know that David, and I learned this recently, that David didn't even take the throne until he was 37 years old. That's right, it took two decades, 20 years, before he would take the throne. And God was using that time to prepare him for his destiny, to strengthen him so he would be ready to assume those responsibilities. So don't get discouraged by the process and the actual time that it takes for you to reach your goals. And don't be discouraged with setbacks and failures. They can be a setup for a great comeback. And always remember, every struggle you go through, every disappointment, every loss, and even the delay is preparing you for your finest hour. So don't give up. The blessings are coming. Don't jump from ship to ship. The Bible says that if you do that, you'll be like a, a fig tree shaking in an untimely wind, just back and forth, back and forth. Stay the course, trust the process, and if you'll do that, I believe and declare that you will be all that God has created you to be. So until the next video, God bless you guys. Take care, I'll see you soon.